Hi right, everyone, my name's George. This is my Aquascaper 600 at home, and this is gonna be part one of a series of videos all about how I'm gonna rescape this. I asked you guys on my YouTube community tab, Facebook, Instagram, I did a poll and I asked you, would you like me to rescape it or just keep maintaining it? And actually the majority of you wanted me to maintain it and, and keep it in this sort of perpetual state of evolution. Now that's all well and good and there's nothing wrong with keeping a, an aquascape kind of on an equilibrium, keep maintaining it, keep it looking really good. The plants are super healthy, there's no nuisance algae. I know I can grow all of the plants. It's established enough now, I know that the final picture is kind of there. So actually from a from a personal perspective as a, as a hobbyist, it's not actually too much for me to gain by continuing to maintain it. So. I'm a huge fan of trying out new ideas, uh, trying out new plants, and just you know pushing myself and stretching myself to become a better aquascaper. And I think one of the best ways to do that is to create new aquascapes. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm not gonna carry on maintaining this like this. It's been running now for five, five months or so, which is a good length of time to grow in an aquascape and see it develop like it has done right now. So yeah, it's time to rescape. So what is a rescape? Well, a uh, rescape is basically just creating a new aquascape from maybe some materials that you've already got in here. So it's different levels, you can just replace the plants, you maybe you want to replace or move the hardscape around. It's basically like a soft reset on the aquascape. A hard reset would be like totally stripping everything down, completely new substrate, new hardscape, new planting, etc. Whereas a soft reset, maybe just changing a few elements of the aquascape. So, I have a few ideas in my mind. Now, I'd really be interested to hear what you think in the comments. If you think what I'm gonna say is a good idea or maybe you've got some more ideas, let me know in the comments. I'm always interested to know what your thoughts are. I think I'd like to keep the Java fern because it is immense, it's really healthy and I love it and I love Java ferns. Anyone that's been following my channel for, for any time will know how much I love my Java ferns. I do want to get rid of the Rotala Hra, this beautiful kind of ready pink plant. It's a really, really fast grower. It needs pruning almost every week now. You can see it's kind of choking everything. So I want to get rid of that because it is, it is high maintenance and I don't unfortunately have enough time to maintain it to what it deserves. Definitely want to get rid of the Helanthium tenalum carpet because that is just a brute and it needs thinning out every week. But I really like the hardscape, I really like the ferns and I love the crypts huge fan of Crips as well. So I think, unless you guys convince me otherwise, I'm gonna keep the Java Fern, I'm gonna keep the Crips, and I'm gonna keep the Hardscape. Now what I do then, there's a few options. I can move them around, I can change the kind of composition. So at the moment we've got very much a central kind of island composition with a big focal point plant in the center and the, and the kind of lower plants around it. So that's kind of an island composition. Big fan of triangular composition, so I could move the fern over to the right. I view the tank from where you're watching right now, from this angle. So if I move the fern over to the right-hand side, had some more negative open space over to the left, that'll give me a nice lead in to the aquascape and create this really nice sense of depth. So that's an option. Um, the crypts will be very mature, the, the roots will be really established and, and ripping them out and moving them will cause a lot of disruption, but that's no problem. Um, might experience a little bit of crypt melt after a move um, but the, the crypts will soon grow back because they're in optimum conditions. So there's a few options I'm going to consider carefully. And I will, honestly guys, I'll always read all of your comments. So please let me know what you think and it will give me some more food for thought. Okay guys, so that's it for this video, part one of the series of how I'm gonna rescape this. Just to remind you, let me know in the comments what you'd do. Would you use some of the same plants? Would you change the plants and hardscape completely? Always interested to know your thoughts. So look forward to part two. I can't wait to get started. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and keep on scaping. Take care, cheerio.